Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. So again, I'm having more fun with this color update. Like, I love the pink. This is my little, our new mascot around here, Lucy, our little rab, lab rat. Uh, if you saw the last episode, she's a, a Worcester rat, which is the most common used rat in lab experience, experiments. Uh, sadly, she's a little too big to be doing experiments with, unless we try to see if we can launch something that weighs a couple hundred tons, but time will tell on that one but I want to try to do something a little more creepy this time and less cute uh, sort of want to revisit uh, one of the first things I did with the hover pads when they came out and I was attempting to make a hover train which ended up getting the name of the centipede so I thought we'd actually attempt a proper centipede today uh, I have looked at looked them up a little bit uh, centipedes don't have hundred legs they don't have a set number of legs it depends on the species and how long it is and stuff like that but they usually have one pair per body segment now I'm with my experience with the hinges and hover pads it's not gonna work out that way but uh, with the colors and the blocks that we have and the way I build it this should be quite an interesting project and it's probably gonna creep a couple of people out more than that spider over there which looks more like a scorpion than anything but that's a future project anyways let's uh, do something creepy here
well, there, there it is. Probably one of the creepiest looking things I've ever made in this game. I uh, haven't decided what I'm going to do with the, the hover pads yet, like the configuration. I've, right now I've got them all going forward. And the steering's just on the, the first abdomen, I'll call it. Anyway, let's uh, go for a ride. Let's uh, use our uh, full zoom on this one. It does float. I don't know how fast it's going to move. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that proves one thing. I'm definitely mad. Let's see how it does on the hills. It's actually why I wanted to do something like this, just to see how it does on hills and stuff like that. Uh, the antenna are a little bit heavy. But a little laggy, definitely. What isn't laggy? Oh, yeah. Antennas might have to come off. I think it's being a little too front heavy. But there we are. We're actually doing pretty good speed, too. 35k. Don't, it's actually bigger, almost as big as a rat. Yeah, the antennas have got to come off. It's all nose down. Let's, uh, let's actually take care of that. Take it down to here. Take some of the weight off. I was going to actually counterbalance it in the back. That's a big ass. Sorry. Somebody had to say it. All right. And there we have it, another mad creation by the mad scientist. See, that's what happens, it's the ones in the back start pushing, so it tends to, tends to bunch up a little bit. That's why I like not have, don't really want to have directional on all of them, but if you don't have enough, enough directional, then you don't actually get any proper movement, and it hits everything and takes it down. And it jumps too. All right. Jumping cat uh, centipede. But that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you next time in the lab. Later.